Hello welcome to another tutorial. Today we're gonna animate this HUD element inside After Effects. You can download the project file from the link in the description and follow along. Let's start. Alright, I've imported the Illustrator file to After Effects and converted the layers to shapes, and now they are ready for animation. I prefer to turn off all my layers and start from the last one. Okay, select the layer and press S on the keyboard. To animate the scale of the layer, I'll set a keyframe at 100 and move it forward on the timeline for about 10 frames. Set another keyframe at the beginning and change the scale to 23. Now select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Let's see the animation. Now open the graph editor, make sure you're on the speed graph, and drag the handles to the left to create a faster start and smoother end. Okay, back to the regular view with the layer selected. We're gonna search for the echo effect on the effects and presets panel and add it to the layer by double clicking. We're gonna adjust the echo settings to get the best out of it. Great. Now it's time to add the opacity animation to make a smooth intro by pressing T on the keyboard. As you can see, the opacity of this layer was 26, so we're gonna create a keyframe for it. Let's get back a few frames and set another keyframe and change it to zero and copy paste these keyframe a few times to get the flicker effect. Select them and press F9 again. Let's move them to the first frame. It's a bit too fast, so I'm gonna increase the distance between the keyframes. I think it looks good now, so we can move on to the next layer. Okay, I'll turn on the next layers. Starting from this layer, I wanna animate the scale again, but in reverse, so I'll go forward a bit and create a keyframe. Then set another keyframe, but make the shape bigger from the corners. Select both keyframes and hit F9. Open the graph editor and make it smooth like before. Let's see how it looks. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit faster by dragging this handle further. Animate the opacity for Flicker effect again. Okay, for the next layer, I want to animate its rotation so press R and then hold down Alt and click on the stopwatch icon to add an expression, type wiggle 2, 20, and play it. Now let's add a scale and opacity animation to it as well. and repeat the process for the next layer. Turn on the next layers to see what they are. Okay, select the layer and open it to see the properties. I think a trim path animation will be nice for this, so I'll open it, and under the trim path, set a keyframe for its current state, then move it a bit forward, set another keyframe, and change it to zero. Press F9 to ease it, and change the speed in the graph editor. Let's play with duration and speed. Now we have a cool animation. I'm gonna add an expression to the rotation. Right times, asterisk minus 200. Okay, it's too much. Let's tone it down to minus 100. Better. For the next layers, I'm gonna repeat the same process with the trim path, but this time in the opposite direction, so that they kinda complement each other. Now that I'm seeing it, the last layer is standing still so I think it's better to give it more animation. I'm gonna add two more keyframes to the opacity and add the loop out expression to it. Let's see. Well, I think it's better now. 
I like it so let's add it to this other layer as well to make it better. Okay, let's get back to where we were. This layer needs an opacity animation for the intro. I want it to be a little bit smoother at the beginning. So I'll press T and add a keyframe for it and easy ease them by pressing F9. I'll go a bit forward and add two more keyframes, then add the loop out expression for it to keep repeating the animation. We're gonna repeat the same process for the other layers. We want the project components to be coordinated with each other. Sometimes repeating the same process with a little bit of delay is the best thing to do. Okay for this one I also like to add in stroke animation. Open the stroke properties of the layer set keyframes and stylize the keyframes as usual. Okay, the first part is almost done. For the next shape layer, I'm going to add keyframes for both the end and beginning of the trim path, moving them a little bit forward. Let's zoom in a little bit to see it better. Add another keyframe and change it to 50 for both, so that it starts from the middle. Again, select the keyframes and ease them by pressing F9 and changing their speed in the graph editor. Okay, let's zoom out and see the animation one more time. Let's move the keyframes a bit and add an animation for the stroke width and set keyframes to go from 4 to 0 0.8 and stylize the keyframes as usual. Let's repeat the same process for the next layer. Now for these little shapes over here, I'm going to play with their opacity in several different ways to create a flashy motion that complements the rest of the animation. For this shape that looks like a scanner, we're going to add a wiggle expression to the rotation so hold down Alt and click on the rotation then right wiggle. 20. I also add an opacity animation to it. Okay, our next layer has different groups, and I want to animate the opacity of each shape separately, so with the layers selected, I'm going to search for opacity, and here they are. I'm going to add keyframes for one of them, and copy-paste it for the others, and then move the keyframes in the timeline to create a bit of a delay. Move on to the next shape. This one needs to act like a diagram so press R to open the rotation hold down Alt and click on the stopwatch to add this expression. Time asterisk dash 100. Okay, it's too fast. Let's change it to minus 50. Better. Okay, for the intro, I'm gonna add the opacity animation in the loop out expression as well. and repeat it for the other little shapes that we have here to match them better. Okay, for the last layer, I'm gonna use the snapshot to place my shape where I can animate the position smoothly, easy ease the keyframes, and add the loop out expression. Then use the first layer as a mask for this one to get this perfect animation. And this is what we have cooked together, hope you've learned something new.
See you next time.